Howdy, this is Ross Brunk with Northern Range Cowboy Gear and uh, I just wanted to do just a real quick video on a couple things that you might think about as you're saddling your horse. We see a lot of horses um, as we go to different events, timed events and ranch events that are saddled incorrectly and as, as odd as that might sound, it's really true. Um, and I'll just address probably one of the most common ways that you can saddle your horse incorrectly. This horse here, if you go to buy a horse, this is the kind of back on a horse that you want. He's got a nice wither, but it's not real bladed, and he's not pig back. So he'll make a great um, example of where you want your saddle to sit. If you can see here, and I'm going to mark it, this is the top of his shoulder blade, and you can feel it right here. And it comes down to the point of his shoulder kind of like that okay we see a lot of horses that are saddled on the shoulder blade but what you want instead is you've got a pocket let me grab another color you've got a pocket right here there's a hollow spot in his back and your saddle bar the bars of your tree are designed to fit right here. See the pocket? Right in that circle. That's called the wither pocket. So let's see how good I did and put a bare tree on him and see if I've got that shape of that bar about right. I got it a little short back here, but that's where you want your saddle to sit. Right there. And I'm using a bare tree, not because this is the best way to fit trees to horses, but because this gives you a good visual of where you want that saddle to sit. Right behind the shoulder blade. You don't want it to sit here because as he moves, that shoulder blade is going to move. As he's in motion, that shoulder blade is in motion. And all that's going to do is sit there and rub right there. You can see it. You also don't want it clear back here. If that's the case, if you're sitting here, you're going to be sitting really close to sitting on his kidneys. So what's that going to look like is saddled up is the next question. Because a lot of times when we put bare trees on horses, or when customers do, they put it in the right spot because they can visualize the pocket. They can see it. And they can see where that front bar pad needs to be. But the difficulty comes... When you throw a pad on it and you can't really see that pocket as well but it's still fairly simple to tell because all you have to do is come up here and you can run your hand up in here and you can feel where that pocket begins and this is too far forward on it not by much, but it is too far forward on it. So in saddling my horse, I'll probably shake it around and get it in the spot that I want it. Just like that. And from there, of course I can go and cinch up. You can see that if you run your hand under here, you can feel the front bar pad is sitting in the wither pocket. You can also see my girth is sitting in what is called the narrow spot or the girth pocket. This horse is saddled really well. But inevitably, whenever we go to events, here son, step over that way. This is what we see. clear up on his shoulders and all that's going to do like I've said before and I'm going to repeat it again it's just going to rub on that shoulder blade and create a white hair or white spot or even maybe just a sore spot 
And the reason that I'm going, the reason that I'm going through all of this is because we see it a lot, like I've said, and this is part of horsemanship. Horsemanship isn't just training how to get him to spin a hole in the ground that much faster, how, how to get him to stop that much harder. But this is horsemanship. Horsemanship includes knowing everything, as much as you can about anatomy, as much as you can about his feet, as much as you can about how to saddle it, how to ride it, how to train it. It's not just one thing. It encompasses all of those things, and this is a very small part of it, but it's a very important part of it as well. So I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm gonna post a clear picture of my marks here in the comments. Feel free to comment, negative or positive. Um, I'm certainly not what I would consider an expert at this, but these are some facts that, that are really helpful. You've gotta have that front bar pad behind the shoulder blade. Hope it helps, thanks a bunch.